Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I want to show you how to install P3ST's overlays for Mega Bezel. Before we continue, you need to make sure you have Mega Bezel installed and configured, and you also need to make sure you have Duimon's pack installed. I've linked two videos in the description below that will show you how to install both Mega Bezel and Duimon. Once you've installed those, you need to go to P3ST's homepage on the LibRetro forum, which I've also linked in the description. Once you're on the page, you need to go down until you get to P3ST's overlays 1.03 fixed, and you need to click on this media file link to download. Just keep in mind the file is about 700 megabytes, so it might take a little while to download. And then once you've done with that, you need to scroll up until you get to P3ST's overlays 1.04, and then click the download link, and then you need to download P3ST standalone update. And once both files have downloaded, you should end up with P3ST and P3ST standalone update. Next, you need to open your RetroArch installation folder. So I've got it on the right here. Scroll all the way down to the shaders folder. And if you performed the Mega Bezel and Duimon installations, you should have a folder called Mega underscore Bezel underscore Packs and open it. And then you need to open up the P3ST zip file. And then within there, you'll see a folder called P3ST and just drag it into mega underscore bezel underscore packs and close the zip file and then within the p3st folder you should have images and presets then go back a level and now open up the p3st standalone update until you find another folder called p3st now all you need to do is drag it into the mega bezel packs folder and overwrite the p3st folder and replace the files in the destination that's the installation complete. Now open RetroArch. Once you're in RetroArch, open a game of your choice and then press F1 to go to the quick menu. Go down to shaders and load Mega Bezel Packs, P3ST and presets. And within each one of these folders, you'll see a series of overlay presets. Technically, you can use any of these presets with any game. So you could, if you wanted, use a Game Boy preset with a Sega Mega Drive game if you wanted. The choice is entirely yours. Currently in the background, I've got Final Fight running and it's the arcade version. So if I want to add an arcade overlay to it, I can go to arcade and then choose to have normal, special or tilted. So I'll choose normal for now. And then you can choose full, zoomed or only bezel. So I'm going to choose zoomed you'll see a number of arcade game presets. As I said before, you can technically use whichever one you want, but I'll choose Final Fight for now. And then once that's loaded, press F1 to return to the game. Now you can see a really cool shader preset alongside the Mega Bezel Reflection shader and some beautiful bezel artwork. Now the screen still looks a little distant for my liking, so I wanna zoom in a bit further. So press F1, go back to load, Mega Bezel Packs, P3ST presets, Arcade, I'm going to choose only bezel. And press F1 to return to the game. And now, as you can see, we've zoomed in on the bezel a bit closer. Anyway, feel free to choose whichever presets you want. Here are some other examples you could try. 